You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Good evening. This is Greg Glory, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today we're talking about the future of TV, uh, namely an app called Fibo TV. And I'm pleased to talk with Arthur Matosian, uh, CEO and co-founder of Fibo TV. So a little bit about Arthur. Uh, he's founded the company with Monty Flag, uh, uh, with who was a fellow Apple retail employee, and uh, and around about 2012. So. Uh, good evening, Arthur, and uh, thanks for joining us here on NerdStalker. I appreciate that. Hey, Greg. Uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow. So, so tell me a little bit about this kind of like uh, thing with the – you worked in an Apple retail store, and now you're a startup uh, CEO. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a diff definitely a transition. So, yeah, uh, I met Monty at the Apple store, actually, at the Grove in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, and uh, we both had an affinity for, you know, obviously great design, Apple products, and uh, we both wanted to uh, start a company together. And um, the Apple TV came out, and it was a really popular product at the time, and we liked it. And I uh, had the idea of making an app that was great for the iPhone and the iPad, uh, as well as something that would work for the Apple TV. And we uh, joined forces, and uh, we both left Apple a few months apart and founded Kibo, and here we are. Well, like, were you, like, at the Genius Bar, or you were, da you know, uh, you were doing the sales thing? or what? Oh, yeah, we were both specialists at the time, and they have a, another team called the Business Team that okay. I was a part of as well. Uh, okay. So, we did, you know, just basically sales, um, and, yeah. you know, those guys in the blue shirts that come help you get your iPhone, <laughs> iPad, or your Mac. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you guys do a good job of that, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so, they work well, hard over there. They're a good, good, yeah. good bunch of guys and girls. So, so you know, let, let's talk about the future TV. You know, and um, you, you know, maybe you could kind of tell us. You know, you know, there's this Chromecast, there's Apple TV, um, yeah, and viewing online content seems to be kind of uh, the way of the future. So, what's your take on that? Um, I mean, I think that you know, everyone's doing something on TV now. Amazon has something going on as well. Uh, obviously, Absolutely. the Chromecast, and like you mentioned, but as far as Apple, the Apple TV is uh, something that I, I personally really enjoy. Uh, there's some apps that they're coming out on there now that you can kind of watch in your ESPN or kind of connect to the stuff that you have already. But a lot of apps aren't taking advantage of you know the AirPlay features, uh, in particular AirPlay mirroring. The best example of that would be like Real Racing HD, which you can kind of you know control your car from your iPad and on the screen you right, know, as your right. actual game. It's like it's like a game. So uh, we want to just take advantage of that. I think that uh, in, the, in the coming years, uh, I think Apple's going to make updates to that that'll uh, make this a far more attractive platform for developers and for customers alike. So we want to be at the forefront of that. Oh yeah, and you guys definitely are. So, so you know, I, I was really curious. I, I read a lot about Fibo TV. Um, a lot of people out there kind of liked it. Some of the reviews said that you know it was a great app, and, and you know, darn, you know, for free, they were saying it's a great free free app. But, <laughs> but I, I mean, you know, take us through a little bit of that Fibo TV experience if you can. Uh, you know, I, I know you know we can't show it here as a live demo, but you can maybe show it on your pad or something like that. Definitely. Here, I'll uh, get my iPad. Okay. So basically, uh. There we go. So when the app loads, uh, you have all the logos, and then it goes into this really beautiful animation. We wanted to have someone that was fun to look at, even if you weren't using it. And what it does is if, uh, if you're on Wi-Fi like I am now, you'll see the videos start to preview, kind of like what we call like a matrix effect. Uh, and if you're on uh, you know, 4G or LTE, it'll, just do a, it'll cycle through all the thumbnails of the recent videos. And what this does is give you an idea of the videos that are you know, underneath that channel that have, that have been the most recently uploaded. And then if you go through, um, you know, you can, you can kind of obviously scroll and pick something that you like. And in this case, we'll just pick uh, the EXPM channel from Vimeo. And then from there, uh, you can just tap on a video that you want to watch. And it's a little crooked there. That's and right. the video will load in, in a second and play. And then, uh, wow, that's pretty slick. And then you can, I you like know, that. standard, you know, Apple controls the gestures. And, and from there, you can watch your video. And then if you like a, a video and you want to share with your friends, you can... Tap on the share button, and you'll get the standard, you know, Facebook, Twitter, um, wow. email so text. Say, hey, I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on Fibo TV right now, and uh, you know, you could, you could watch this thing with me, right, or something Basically, like that. Yeah, right? and then same thing for the phone. Uh, same interface. Just instead of nine channels at a time, you'll see, oops, that uh, was seven. You'll yeah. see, uh, you'll see three channels, uh, and you can, you can also go through, and if you really like a channel, you can tap and hold and uh, add it to your favorites. So wow. they them, and then or hide something if you don't want to see it. And then we also have the ability to do a complete search on YouTube. You can search categories or just type in any video you want, and uh, that'll come up. Well, so, definitely, yeah. this is going to be on Fibo TV, right? Yeah, this will. Uh, I definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll get cool. a nerd stalker, uh, nerd stalker channel on there. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Hey, um, so 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 
you could watch this. I mean, it's a great. I like the Matrix event. That's really cool. I, I and I thought that was really nice. Now, now you could also, like you said earlier, uh, your app actually takes advantage of AirPlay, right? So let's yes. talk about that. You know. So uh, you know, a lot of apps currently do uh, the AirPlay mirroring. Or I'm sorry, AirPlay, where you can send a video to your television. However, we uh, for the latest update, we created the mirroring effect where uh, it'll send that interface to the TV. And it's awesome, especially if you're the person who's, you know, if you're with other people, they get to see everything kind of animating and get an idea of what's underneath there. So it's a really, really cool interface. Um, it's you, the phone or iPad becomes a remote control, and then uh, from there you, you know, you have the ability to um, just kind of go through, pick the, you know, tap on a logo that you want, and then it goes into the same beautiful interface. Everything's animating and moving, um, and then you can watch all the videos uh, that you want. Oh so yeah. The thing, really about, nice. the thing about AirPlay is when you AirPlay a video, the people that are with you can't see what's going on until you actually select the video. With the mirroring feature, it brings the, it brings the experience to everybody there. So people can say, oh, you know, I want to see that channel, or oh, let's watch that video. Uh, so it makes it fun for everyone, not just the person who's in control of the videos. And it's just a really th a beautiful interface that I've, I've never seen any other app do so far. Oh, so. Well, yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. So, so, like, if you have the iPad and it has that matrix effect, and then right. on, the, on the iPhone is only, uh, well, it, it's the scrolling tiling, right? Right, right. Right. So how does that show up on the TV? Is so, it the um, yeah, it'll, 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 on the iPad, it'll show the nine channels at a time. On the phone, it'll show the three that, that are there in the front and then the, the uh, six below. So it, as you scroll, you'll have the ability to just tap. You know, it's it's basically a beautiful remote control with big bright yeah. logos, so it's very easy to use. Wow, that's neat. So like, um, yeah, I, I think that's really a neat experience because if you have a lot of friends over and they have their pads, they have their phones, um, you know, they could bring the experience locally to to wherever they're they're watching it, or they could just look on the big screen and say, "Hey, wow, that's kind of neat." You know, so wow. Thank That's you. Yeah. Good. A good example of that too is you know uh, if you're if you're watching let's say Forbes right or you're scrolling through and maybe you don't care uh, about Forbes or business but you'll see a Elon Musk and a Tesla thing that is kind of animating and you, but you like Tesla you'll tap on the you're like oh let's watch the the Tesla interview so it kind of sh it gives you an idea of what's underneath there and kind of makes it it's a really cool thing to check out and you know makes people who didn't maybe didn't have an interest in a certain channel all of a sudden want to see something so it, it's it's a great way to discover new videos and. Uh, that's a big thing here. It's not just to get the videos in the best way or most beautiful way possible, but discovering things that you never would have found otherwise. Wow. So when did you start the development of this app? Um, we started it in August of 20, 2012. And wow. then we, yeah, we started then, and then it was, uh, uh, you know, figuring out exactly what we wanted to do. And, uh, you know, the hardest part is, you know, making it all work. And, uh, you know, you, you set deadlines, but when you're working for yourself, the deadlines kind of get pushed out, pushed out a little bit. And then we finally settled on uh, you know YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook as the opening streams, and then um, we'll add more in the future. So. Well, yeah, and actually, you've probably taken advantage of a lot of features that Apple had rolled out as as you guys were developing it, right? Uh, of course, yeah. We're we're always using the latest uh, you know SDKs and trying to put the latest and greatest stuff from Apple, and they make it really easy for developers as well. So. Yeah, that's what I heard because um, actually at one of the pitch events that I was at yesterday, uh, SF New Tech, um, they actually showed a graph that actually developers like developing on iOS better. And so what these guys did is they actually um, created a, um, a cross uh, compiler that actually compiles iOS code into Android code. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah I've, a, heard, I heard, I've heard of companies that do that, but uh, we wanted to provide a truly native iOS experience. Yeah, and, and and if we do an Android version, the same thing. We want to, you know, harness all the power for uh, for the Android devices. So I'd rather not get complicated with the cross compilers. But those are very cool. It depends on the app. You know, this with the Matrix yeah. effect. I'm not sure if that'd be possible. No, I, I, so. I think you're probably right. But uh, I, it just made me think about that when you were there. So so look, look you, you, wow, you took a couple years to develop it, or oh, yeah, over a year to develop uh, well, it. Yeah, yeah. No, we started in August, and then we. When we were done early 2013, oh, and we finally going through the approval process. We got on the App Store in May. Uh, oh so we, wow! Yeah. So you've been out a little while then. A little bit, so, yeah. So, um, so let's talk about your business model. You know, right now it's the free app, but you know, right. everything that I see out there, they they love this free app. So, what 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 is your business model? What what are you gonna do with this? Um, well, right now we're really focused on building brand value and just you know, as as far as Fibo and getting it out there to the masses. Um, there are a couple models. Uh, one of them being promoted channels, and the best example of that would be, you know, if um, you know Fox is want, wants to promote the latest movie, and they don't want to have, you know, and they, and they don't want to be, you know, on the bottom of the of the list. They want to have Fox right there at the very top. You know, we'll promote their channel and put it at the top of the app, so everyone who mm -hmm. loves the app, whether they download it or open, it's going to see the the latest movie they're promoting, or trailers and behind the scenes or sneak peeks. Um, that's one thing, and obviously there's the traditional video and text ads. 
But right now, it's just, uh, you know, finding... We also want to partner with YouTube channels. Anybody out there, if anyone's listening or watching uh, who has their own YouTube channel and would like to be at the top of the app or be featured, uh, we'd love to talk to you and get you guys out there. So it's not just about big companies, but also the small guys. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, we'll explore the different options. There's Honestly, there's so many different ways to do it, and it's about finding the right way that works for your app. Uh, but, you know, we're in no rush right now. It's really just, you know, the right partners, and um, it, it, it'll come. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, I like your confidence. This feels really good. I, can, I just feel it as we're talking and, and doing this interview. So, I, 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 you know, I feel confident, you know, that you guys are going to pull it through. So it's Thank good. You. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, you know, let's go through a couple other things I think now I thought about it is, is just that, wow, you know, it's really cool that you and another person were able to do this, this development by yourselves, correct? Uh, actually, no. We have a Peter, who's our developer, and Phil's our lead designer. So we definitely okay. have... Phoebo's bigger than just two people. Um, okay. uh, and we have a, a team, and we work together, and those guys are, are, are very experienced in what they do. Uh, you know, our focus is building the best product out there, and sometimes that means that, you know, you can't do everything yourself. Uh, mm. So I work a lot with, uh, you know, with, with everybody, obviously, but, you know, we'll design logos, or we'll do a lot of the, you know, the, the, the cloud programming or web programming on the app. Uh, but, um, you know, we, we do have a good, solid team of people that are doing this, so... Yeah. No, that's good. No, I think um, you know it's that. I think that's a common model you have, right? You have you have the business guys and, and the right. people who really are looking out for the best for the experience on the on the user side, and then you have the people who actually, you know, do the do the app stuff. So it's it's yeah. A, yeah, it's a good model. It's we all work well. together, and everyone's doing a little bit of everything in the startup. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a bunch of them up here in SF, so <laughs> yeah, I, I know exactly what you're going through. So, um, so anyway, um, you know, I think you know. Thanks for introducing FIVO TV to the Nerd Soccer audience. Um, you know, let's close off the interview, and um, unless you have more to say, uh, you know, how can listeners get a hold of you and start using FIVO TV? Uh, the best way is if you go to appstore.com slash TV, you can download the app or just search for, you know, Feebo on the App Store, P-H-E-E-B-O. Um, we're also on Twitter, Feebo, Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash TV, or you can email us, hello at Feebo.com, or, or visit our website. So uh, we're very responsive, and we love feedback, and, you know, whether you're a customer or someone who's using the app or a YouTube channel or Vimeo channel, uh, we'd love to talk to you and get your stuff on there, so... Okay, well, I guess uh, I'll have to talk to my partner, and we'll get NerdStalker on one of your channels then. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Sounds great. Cool. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, thanks for the interview. Um, I appreciate your time. Uh, it's Halloween tonight, by the way. We're, re we're recording this Halloween, and we're both... Uh, we, Arthur and I were just talking to each other. What are we doing here interviewing each other on, on, on uh, Halloween night? But that's just the way it is, right? <laughs> hey, that's just the way it is. Business never stops. Business never stops. So anyway, thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Gloria, a.k.a. Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks. See you guys.